Hello YouTube, it's another comment reading section. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna read some comments from last week's YouTube videos. I have a lot of ones that stood out to me and I always enjoy reading the comment section. If you guys wanna show up in this video, do leave a comment in the comment section and you might make it. You just might make it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we're gonna go right into it with a very heartwarming content from KO Cards. I just want to say this is probably my favorite Digimon YouTube channel. Thank you, man. You're a great person. I know I am. And you're welcome. It's those kind of comments that keep me going. They, they really do. It's, you love to see it. Now, before I get to that comment, just a quick question from uh, Austin Kelly. Is Doragreymon Limited 1 in the US? It is not. You can play as many Doragreymons as you want. Uh, and if it gets limited, Bandai will let us know for sure. So hopefully that answers your question. All right, Goten here with the undefeated question mark. Man, I like your deck profiles. I gotta ask, what event was this undefeated outside your local circle? Well, you see, if there were any BT10 events, you know, odds are we could probably do something about that. But there aren't, unfortunately, so right now it is only testing. But I'm honest about my deck profiles. If a deck profile is undefeated, it is. <laughs> That's as simple as that. Um, at the time of recording, the Minerva Mon deck profile was undefeated. So I put that in the thumbnail. Let people know. I can't remember if I put it in the thumbnail or not. I don't remember anymore. But, you know, I'm honest about my testing results. And if something isn't good enough, it's definitely not even making deck profile. So that, that's kind of how I do things. But you guys know how it is. Hopefully people learn to trust my deck profiles by now. I mean, when I count the cards right... <laughs> <laughs> they um, they tend to be pretty good. They they do. Uh, don't forget, for some of the newer viewers here, I have, you know, won two Bandai tournaments before. I do think I know what I'm talking about most of the time. Sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith. Sometimes. There's a lot of toxic trolls out there that just, you know, hate my content, hate me, think my decks are trash and all that. And to them, I say, all right, go win a few tournaments. Go, go win a Bandai. Go, go, go win a regionals. Go, go do something. Then tell me my shit sucks. Go ahead, do it. A lot of them don't. I wonder why that is. All right, Dark Gray Yu-Gi-Oh. More wonderful market watch as always. I was lucky enough to pull both Hero and Gammon from my packs, so it's. I guess it's what time to sell. I guess it is, huh? It is a good time to sell those cards, those Turbo Pack Five cards. Uh, they might even go up. You never know. You could hold them, potentially, and make bigger money down the road. Up to you. Depends on how lucky you're feeling. Soulcross reads, It's always interesting seeing veteran players looking into the new TCGs. We'll try to figure out what cards are good and what cards are bad. It is a very interesting video idea that MBT and I did, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Goat thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I make some very th funny thumbnails. This, let me see if I can find the thumbnail that this was in response to. Um, where, 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 where? That was the thumbnail. That's, this is the goat thumbnail, by the way. The goat thumbnail. And we even did get some memes out of it. If we want to take a brief... Uh, look here at my Twitter. So for our meme section of the video, I did have Twitter meme the thumbnail for me. We got a few good ones. <laughs> Lorcana Market Watch, did you hear the bell? <laughs> Little Patamon is tier one when the sneeze teasing you. Oh, goodness. The tier one face. <laughs> There's just... You look the same as usual. Shout out to fifth rate duelist for the, for the fucking burn there. Swooped in and destroyed me. After that first sip of Duncan in the morning, <laughs> my face when I get the fourth security check in a row. That's a holy flame. That's crazy. Anyway, so yeah, we do we do have some pretty good thumbnails. We really do. We, we try. We try. John Starfish says, Hi, I'm from Canada and was wondering where you get your singles from since most TCG player shops don't ship to Canada. TCG player does not ship to Canada. Very rarely. It's terrible. Where are my singles? Well, uh, if you're asking me as a personal player, I buy a case of every set, and I have enough singles to just do whatever I want at that point. If I'm talking about my store or whatever, um, I'll buy from Facebook Marketplace usually, 
or like I'll reach out to Discord groups and whatever. Buy and sell groups in general online, that's basically it. That's the only thing you can do. eBay sometimes is overpriced, NTG Player, if you can get a, a store that ships to Canada, is usually overpriced. So, hope that helps. Uh, love the vibes off of the Dark Mario editions. And speaking of Dark Mario, I hope we get to see a Dark Mario do Market Watch one day. That would be something else if I just put on these shades and, like, took a giant dump all over the market. Uh, one quick moment, though, I want to mention. The Telegram, Mars Gaming World chats, comments are still going. They're still going. Report them when you see them. And no, I don't have a Telegram. And no... I don't want your money through this, through these means. I do not want it. So uh, if you see this shit, get rid of it. Report it, ignore it, and report it. Very importantly, report it. Just report it. All right. Gemstones and steel. Interesting and very cool to see some news. It is really cool to see Lorcana news. They told us that it was going to be a very slow drip of news. And last week when we got news, it wasn't really anything super important, but... It was a nice tease, you know, just got us wet, just just not wet enough to have some fun with it. So it was kind of cool to see that news. You love to see it. I can't believe MBT has let Mario on his show. So kind. <laughs> I know, I know. And MBT, shout out to you once again, Mr. Joseph Rothschilds, for letting me have a vid have you on a video. It was really cool. It was a good time. I have a feeling we're gonna get a sealed only series coming up with how strong the new starter CMT10. Ruler, I can disprove that feeling. I can tell you right now it's not happening. For a few reasons. A, I just... When I did Sealed Only Season 1, it was a red deck already. We're not doing another red deck. The second reason is because I don't have time right now. And the third reason is I want the structure decks... When the structure decks come out for Sealed Only, they have to have a really good, you know, pull factor. Like, I even thought about it for the Beelzebub Star deck. The problem is... You need to open EX2 and pull a bunch of secrets and a bunch of support. You're basically, if you do the Beelzebub starter deck, you're opening starter decks. You're opening EX2. Yeah. And the odd of the thing for the odd common. Like, that's not a lot, you know what I mean? I was pushing it with Gallantmon, but I really wanted to do a sealed only series. But Beelzebub is just... It's rough. So I don't even think Bilzamon is going to do it, to be honest. Someone could, and someone might see success with it, but if you don't pull fucking blast modes, you're, 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 or the, the EX2 support, you're you know, rough time. You need the super rare Bilzamon too, the EX2 one that's you mill. I don't remember if that's getting reprinted on the structure deck or not, but I don't think it is. Uh, and that's just unfortunate. Kind of is. Dark Mario is still best Mario. Love the deck. I run a Black War Agu Bond. That's like 90% similar. Totally Rex Tamers. And yes, I am on drugs. <laughs> uh, Black War Agu Bond is something I've never really thought of, per se. I don't think the Bond decks are really good into a format where Black War Raymond's popular because it just pops two of those three cost Tamers right away. But it is a fun idea. And I am all for people having their fun ideas. I really am. I follow MBT, since I also play Yu-Gi-Oh!, and having the interaction of YouTubers for their respective card game is awesome. Hope we can see more in the future. That would be interesting if you got to see more of this in the future. It would be. When it comes to the premium set, it's literally because all the fly bullets and the chance of blue bait them on. Only price I could find on those damn things was a good 30 a pop. They're much cheaper now, so I hope you waited, Dr. Paul Sanella. Hope you waited, because they're down. They are lower in price now. Fun update to appease the player base. Main hope right now is that if they do some sort of super pre-release cough band I cough, that they'll initially cap it off at eight player like eight like yeah, talk. Holy shit. But anyway, I'm certain that Lorcana will do a pre-release. I, I, I don't see any way they don't. Uh it would get so much hype for the game. It's the teaser. See, what's really cool about pre-releases is it gives you that rush. You get to open some packs, have a good time. But then when it's all said and done, you might want to open more packs. And that's where they get you with the pre-releases. And then you buy boxes after that. So I definitely think they do pre-releases. I don't know how they'll do it per se, but I'm looking forward to it. Sounds like fun. It's crazy bi-weekly now. Monday and Thursday are my favorite days. Also, there's a new version of that Black Wargame BT1 in the second anniversary box. It won't be the highest for it anymore. I think... Long J Waffle, uh, Monday and Thursday are great days now. But, 
I do believe that it is up for contention which BT1 War Greymon is max worthy. Do you guys think it's the BT1 Altart Alt -Art? or the Altart we're getting in the, the box toppers, basically, BT10? Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm really curious. I love hearing the thought process of people that try to argue max rarity one way or the other. It is kind of interesting. And what's this? We have Marco. I can see this being a tier one deck for a once a title is correct. <laughs> oh my god. I think Lucy would be better than Tameramon because you can pop Tamers for Cross, which makes your matchup against it more free and a dead or alive compared to Werewolf mode. Back if you have Service Mon on the field, pass turn back to you. If you've had those cards, then I want then I believe even more that this deck went 11 0. I've tried it. Like it, it, it worked. I mean, for the couple of games I tried it, but it seems really inconsistent in my opinion. And I don't think it needs loose mon chaos mode. Minerva mon can beat the tamer decks, no problem. Like case the chaos mode is extra. I don't know. I'm not uh, super thrilled on it. I know people in Japan played and saw success with it, so there is that. Maybe I'll try it eventually. Who knows? And now the final comment I left. This good one for last. Salty is the name. Go figure. Really enjoyed the previous one for BT9 Black War Greymon, though I'm really curious for the reasoning on the higher end of the deck. Aside from Death Axe, which is always good, isn't having so many higher level Digimon creating a really big possibility of bricking? 6 level 6 is fine, but the 4 Omnis, I can imagine, come up a lot of areas you don't want unless you increase your chance of security too. Would love to hear the explanation for it all. So, I'll give you the explanation. The, the raw, hard, thick explanation of it. Every deck bricks. It's just inevitability. Um, but we play very good cards in our Black or Green 1 deck. There is a lot of consistency pieces, like the Augumons. The on-play Augumons that help you get pieces. And yes, I've drawn the odd hand, where you draw like a couple Omnis in the opening hand. And without Mulligan, it really sucks. But luckily, we live in a best of three world, not a best of one world like Japan does, or the occasional tournament here. But regardless, um, yes, you will brick sometimes, but the games you don't brick, you're usually doing really well and winning because you're seeing your pieces as you need to see them, which are usually appropriate, and they're very powerful cards. Like every card in the Black Pokemon deck that I piloted, it's just a very powerful card. And I've found that certain cards are needed for certain matchups, like, I wasn't doing, like, Greymon X Antibody forever in the matchup, but it's so good against certain decks that I had to put it in. And, like, the Deltamon is so good against certain decks. And the freaking Almimon X Antibody, the original one, is really good against certain decks. You know, so it's just, yes, you will brick. Absolutely. But when you don't brick, you're winning the game. And it's just as simple as that. Uh, and more often than not, you are, you do play a good, 12 rookies is fine. It is a quarter of your deck, just under a quarter of your deck. You will usually open a rookie in your hand, and you can go from there. You just do. Anyway, that's all for the comment reading section of this week. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Bye.